Politics. We're getting a sneak peek at how some counties will hold elections safely. President Trump suggesting a delay, but local officials tell us North Carolinians will be voting in November. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us with a look at what to expect. Well, some of the new things you'll be seeing when you head to the polls are some of the same things you've been seeing at restaurants or at gas stations, especially when it comes to the plexiglass shield separating you from the poll workers. <laughs> North Carolina law mandates this year the election must be held on November 3rd. <laughs> Governor Roy Cooper tweets voting will be done safely and securely. Experts say that means expect lines out the door. Social distancing rules means less voting booths in a precinct. It can be passed here. Gaston County Board of Elections Director Adam Reagan says their new procedures will give new meaning to clean and fair elections. After each voter votes at a voting booth, we're going to wipe down that voting booth. Every potential voter contact uh, to a surface, we're going to make sure that that's clean and sanitized. Other voters are avoiding the lines by requesting absentee ballots. Political scientist and Catawba College professor Dr. Michael Bitzer says more than 100,000 North Carolinians already request absentee ballots. Well, North Carolina, in terms of requests for absentee by mail ballots, is still running five times ahead of where we were four years ago this same day. Gaston County will also have 17 days of early voting at seven different sites, the most the county's ever had, including at Kate's skating rink. Early voting is a great way, so you don't have to deal with the lines that will happen on Election Day. And we have more voter information on our WCNC mobile app. In Gastonia, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.